Yeah, Sexton. And I don't think Sextons need a delete button. They just need to be... I mean, a Sextons as they are now need to be deleted. I agree, sure. But I don't think the like, Sextons as a uh, system needs to be removed. They just need to be made better. But I would love Sextons to be, at, at least as a like part of Sextons, not necessarily only like this, is... Uh, you know, you guys remember uh, the uh, League of Leak Stones? What if you add sex stunts? Like, uh, like the pool of the sex stunts mods, you add the actual leak into it. So when you sex stunt the map, you can get league mods I think it would be nice if uh, you would like honestly I think a map should be affected by only a maximum of one league like a one sex stunt at a time that would balance the uh, maps themselves between like the Maps themselves for sextants, right? Since you are not, uh... oh yeah, and like remove blocking, so that um, you cannot block mods, and a map can be affected by only one sextant at a time. What you could do, like in some maps, I mean, in, like if in if that was the case, and you would like, let's say that you have a map that can be affected by another four, right? You could slap sextants on all of those five maps, so the map and the four maps next to it. And that way, you... would... Uh... Okay, let's say that the charges is like three. Now you would have 15 maps. Like, you, you can run the map 15 times without needing to re them, right? So in, in that way, I guess I think it would be fine. Or just play and make sections not affect the other maps around it at all. Also fine. But in that way, I think it would be, would be okay. But definitely... Definitely want to get rid of sections as they are now, in my opinion. Wanna be boring? Why? Why would one be boring though? If they if they make sextants, okay, remove every single bad mod from a sextant, quote unquote bad mod, and only have mods that are worthwhile. So have mods that give you a league. Of course, like some leagues would be still bad, I guess. So you would you would still reroll if you don't want certain leagues. First key after. Yeah. Uh. And then, like, let the, you know, spawns extra monsters still be there. But that way, you could... Let's say that you have a breach, right? So it would uh, it would be the same as having breach... Not breach. Uh, uh, beyond from Zana, because it's a league, right? You can have mod on the map, and then you can, ha can have league. So either from the... The sextant or from the Zana mod. So if you if you then get the beyond from the or sextant, and then you roll a, uh, the second beyond mob on the actual map, you always have to have a map with a beyond roll. Otherwise, because like le you can't stack two leagues of the same. So then you could use another Zana mod. On top of having double peon, for example, or like for example Nemesis, so you could have a double peon plus Nemesis. Have, have fun with the headhunter guys. There's there's just there's so many different things you could do with sextants. 
to keep them still like so that people actually use them without them being completely broken as they are now. And I, I really like the idea of, uh, I mean, partly because from, talk, like, from a solo, solo cell phone point of view, I like the idea of uh, getting leaks from sextants. But... Oh, also another thing. I think every single monster added to the map by sextant if the sextant stay as they are right now, should not give uh, like drop maps. I think that's the biggest thing. If if sex like mods, Small as a cunt. if mobs added by sextant Indeed. wouldn't drop map, you wouldn't feel uh, that you absolutely needed to do sextant blocking. I'll be right for back. example, in my opinion, you would still do it for XP. But I really dislike the like sextants and then uh, like not sextants themselves, but what they do to your atlas, right? You sextant block, you can't run any of the maps anymore, right? The, any every single map that is now sextant used as a sextant block, you can't run anymore. So depending on a map, you can lose you can lose like twenty maps that you can't run anymore. It's just it's so it's so counter like intuitive with the whole system and the whole uh, GGG's like uh, like idea idea where they want you to run a lot of different maps and especially now with like the elder and shaper like chasing around. It's just. I mean, I guess you can argue it's an opportunity cost. But I think an, if an opportunity cost means that you cannot run con content in the game, I think that's a very, very bad way of making an opportunity cost. I think that's horrible. Right, you take either that or that. Like, do you want to farm uh, red el like red elder or yellow elder for like the amulets? Well, <laughs> hope that when you, when you when Elder pops into your Atlas, he doesn't pop into the uh, part of the Atlas where you have Sextant block. Otherwise, <laughs> have fun, guys. Next on cooldown of maps. I don't think that would solve anything, honestly. That would just mean that yeah, you would Sextant less. You would still do everything else you do now, no, but you would just Sextant a bit less often. That's it. You would, you would still do the normal sex and plugin and all that. So. But there's there's so many different ways you can like rework sextant. I don't think we'll be see a big sextant change. Me neither, but I hope. At least there would be, and uh, I would definitely not mind that then we got some. Do you guys think sextants are fine? No, not even hell. No. no. What do you like of the idea of? Uh, okay, so the biggest issue is probably blocking, right? Move and the, the imbalance between maps. Because They're some maps have more strong. sextants than others, maybe. Mm, and the reward, I guess. I mean, it, it's it's multiple it's multiple things, but just make them league stones. League stones were a bad mechanic as well. Yeah, I actually I think making um sextants like not not only but like have partly like allow you to run like great leagues. You would still like re like uh, reroll them when you get like bad leaks. If you got good leaks, let's say you got a uh, Beyond, for example, then you could uh, 
use like Xanamod for something else. Like you Just could make Xanamods cost sextants, don't Oh damn dude. Yeah. And uh, another point, like do I, I think I think we should have all leagues in Xana. Xana's bull. I personally think. If nothing else, make the random league. Great. Make the random one uh, spawn any any league. Well, okay, except like Legacy and like Dark Shrine, but. The ever be league in Sana? Nor do I think I don't. That's kind of the right. MF like item quantity. Okay, let's be let's be a. Uh... Let's be precise. When people talk about MF, they usually talk about item quantity. And there are builds where it's a very low. Like they, sure you can argue that it's an opportunity cost. It's risk versus reward, but the risk is practically zero. Holy shit! After a while, so if you're not running the quantity, you are not doing it optimally. Like some monsters aren't designed to be on players. The thing is, Dominating Blow does the same thing as Headhunter. It's just fucking retarded. Can you actually dominate rare mobs? Yeah, yeah. you get their auras. Everything but the unique mob. It's the exact same thing. Yeah, but, I mean, it's you don't get some of the there. other mobs like extra projectiles. Yeah, you don't, and um, you don't like. Uh, you can also can dominate uh, league so like uh, league mobs like breach and beyond, shit like that. While with headhunter, you gain their buffs when you kill them. So it's not quite the same, but domination blow is pretty crazy. Yeah. Like with headhunter, just going from normal beyond to double beyond is a massive difference. Well, I think. Double Beyond should be more of a risk versus reward thing rather than just hey, I get way more head on the box now, so I play even fucking faster. It's just dumb. MF is a risk when you playing a bad, bad build or running to uh, high level content. For a low to mid tier content with a good build, getting more like MF into your setup doesn't actually make your build worse at all because everything dies in one shot, anyways. And they don't deal enough damage that the loss of your, like the sacrifice to your survivability actually matters. It doesn't, it really doesn't do anything. Was it the uh, smart choice making so rare? Find an anyway shape performer. Right I think I think Biscos should lose. I think Biscos max roll should mm, be like, with, with, like maybe thirty percent quantity. Even then, if people will use it because of the uh, earlier mentioned reasons. After a while. It's not an opportunity cost anymore. You don't need more damage. Sure, dam like a. Uh... It is a uh... like neck is a huge damage slot. Sure, but uh, you don't need a lot of damage for most content. Okay, I honestly don't see a world where sextants can be balanced as long as shape orb exists. Shape orbs, shape orbs in their current iteration. I think they're just being too stubborn about keeping the sextant mechanic. It takes you out of the game, it makes you do things that aren't related to actually playing the game. Like sitting there putting in little mods they have to re roll on your Atlas. It's like it's yeah. a fucking chore, it doesn't feel fun. No, it's and the just rewards annoying. are so powerful, they're almost mandatory. And just like, why does this have to exist? I remember, I remember uh, watching you look at one of people running like Strand, where he puts like seven mods, right, or something. I don't remember the exact number. And he spent pretty much the time he spent re rolling the mods on his maps took the, uh, less time than rolling, like running the map once. 
ね。Like I think, I think there's like multiple ways how you can make a sextant coin. Like make make map only be affected by one sextant at a time. Maybe only sextant that is added to the actual map, and then uh, maybe increase the charges so you don't have to do that often. Uh, make sextants be able to overlap so the blocking is gone, right? Because right now you can't have a map affected by sextant twice. So. Mm. There's there's multiple ways to make it uh, work in my opinion. Just fine. I don't want the mechanic. I don't like using sextants. Neither do I, but they're fucking mandatory. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I don't give a fuck about the reward. Oh my god, people are finding items. Oh no. I mean, okay, we're going we're going into mandatory. Uh... Do you, do you think we should not roll maps at all? I don't even like rolling maps. I, mean, I don't mind rolling maps because there's a risk to it. And you can also do I mean, there's much, much faster. There is technically sextants. a risk to use the stash and the search options too. to make it fast. Whereas with sextants, there is no typing in like, uh, I don't know, slip streams. You don't just type that at the top of your atlas and it highlights all the slip streams. You do that with maps though. Out of curiosity, have you actually tested that? Because we have the search now in Atlas. I've got no because it, it can place. you can search a map, you can search a Pantheon boss. Can you actually search for a sextant mod? Probably yeah, but it doesn't speed up the application of sextants. Yeah, all. because you're not mass rolling them, of course. But that is what I'm talking about. But like what I literally proposed a minute. Like a, a go, would get rid of that. You wouldn't have to reroll the sextants uh, in like seven seven sextants per map every three maps. Yeah, hell, you could even make it so that you can't even reroll the sextant. You slap it and then you have to run it. I don't know if that's a good good solution, but it's that not... that would definitely be a risk versus reward, especially. If there are mods that actually make the map harder. I mean, yeah, there's you take increased damage of X type. Yeah, but you gain more monsters, so the fuck yeah. yes. But if the if the downsides were actually higher, and you couldn't roll over the sexton mod, that would, I mean, eventually people wouldn't care because, you know, power creep, but. I think it's a failed mechanic, and yeah. I want its removal, I don't care about the balance. It doesn't make the game more fun to me. I think I think uh, if I either had proper, like, uh, in a different way it could be. Having more monsters on the maps feels great, but the problem is the application of those monsters. You should have those monsters without the sextant, in my opinion, though. Yeah. Like, uh, increase the density and then just... There's not enough of a difference between white maps and red maps. Like, the mods go up and the monster average damage and life goes up. That's basically it. Why can't the sextant mods kind of already be implicit when you get to red maps? Or even make a new tier of maps above red, fucking orange maps. That have like, permanent one sextant or some shit. Yeah, as, as this sextant is literally just a different, <laughs> different mod on a map. Like it's we already have one. it so that you roll different what, what, tiers what, of mods. what if, what if sextants were more common and you could actually use them on the map itself and not on the atlas? So you would it's mass roll, you would mass roll maps and then would you, then you would mass roll uh, sextant mods. So you could actually like search the, the stats on the maps for the sextant mods, like mass rolling them. Now it's kind. Of, I guess you can argue that it's still more time wasted rolling the actual map. But now it would only affect that one map, and it would uh, like remove all the stupid clusterfuck on your atlas. It would uh, remove the, you know, a lot of things. It would remove the the fact that you cannot run a specific map when you have sextant block, or you have a sextant on a map. Like even having a sextant on, on a map that you run right now. 
makes it so that you don't want to run the map next to it because it's epic. Right? Let's imagine a world where they introduce like another mechanic similar to sextants, and it's equally good or bad to have sextants on now. Should the solution to that problem, I'm going to call it a problem, to that mechanic that is a problem, be to fix it and make it so that you can still do it and it's still worth it and make the changes that you're suggesting because it's not it's just going to keep adding layers onto the game that you have to do first it's rolling mm -hmm. maps now it's rolling maps and the flying sextants then it's going to be rolling maps of flying sextants and sextants 2.0 the one that i'm describing like you're just adding layers and layers and layers on top of the game rather i mean back and... there has, to some to some extent it's not a layers are not a bad thing right it's just a question which is too much like now you chisel, right? You chisel, then you roll, then you re-roll the bad, like the bad roll maps. Yeah, imagine then you then you corrupt them and then you check and them you have again. To and... Four of those as well. Like I wouldn't want that. That's fucking boring. But it gives twenty extra quality. Why not golden chisels? Like that's a terrible sort of, um, addition to the game in my mind because now you have to do something else, and the reward is twenty additional quality. I wouldn't want that in the game, and they're going to introduce more things in the future that are along those lines. And I, don't I, want I think I think it's like the layers to, on top to of layers some extent it's fine as long as there's a proper risk to it. I'd rather it was a bit more elegant. Also, than, like, how about how about sex, sextants? Uh, sextant monsters like monsters added by sextants don't actually draw maps. I didn't care about the XP problem or the loot problem, and it would still be mandatory. Maps are like ubiquitous. Is that... I can't even remember the fucking how you say the word, but it's going to be the same across all maps anyway. So, whatever the balance is of maps, it's going to be global. The problem is the sextant and the effect it has on like experience and money gain. I want the map being clean things, I'm not matching my inventory. I mean, to what point? If they want to keep the sextant system are you, like this for now. For are you, are you talking, are, are you, how map, far are you going? The other mobs. Should, should, uh, maps be rollable at all? Because basically what you're saying is that you don't want to have to spend any time at actually making the map and you just want to do the map right. So based on that, I don't, if, if, if we go far, far enough, you only drop wide maps, and you just slap them in. And I think that's not a good design either. I personally don't think sex. The moment the moment sextants uh, don't limit you from doing other content, uh, they would be a lot better already. But I wouldn't mind if they got removed either. My big my big issue is that it limits you from doing other things. Same with elder uh, things now. Elder and shaper should just not have a max to the number of maps they can be on. That way, the only way to farm elders. Most density of maps lacking like density of apples, extents, the apples means are. But you still, you still have the manage. You still have to use them, right? It's still, quote unquote, a must to use. Assuming the reward is high enough. It's you literally just add another like what I said. You just add new layer on top of everything else already. You chisel, you roll, you re-roll, then you add the extents. It's our build to start held. Uh, I mean, if you have strong enough merc, anything goes. But I would say just do Hydra or do like Frozen Orb and Hydra. Like it depends what you want to do. If you want to just progress to the game, pure Frozen Orb works, pure Hydra works. Uh, just give your merc a insight in an uh, exceptional base that you can farm in Nightmare Cows. And then Telekinesis has a Telekinesis has a uh, knockback, so you can just knockback lock 
your targets with telekinesis so your merc can kill them and just make sure that you TP all the pits so your merc doesn't all instant die and everything. The problem is that after all running full it's actually the most running math normally after all pits like ass. But now we're getting into a different uh, problem, which is a myth. So I don't really know, like this. I don't personally see sextants being an issue or as a new layer on top of the things you already do as long as it's not completely retarded when it comes to power lab power with no like actual risk and that it does not affect uh, you in a way that you cannot do other content. I think if, if those two things are matched, I would be happy with sextants. Like I'm, I'm not bitching it. Like I'm, like I don't, I don't, I don't mind people have more items and more XP when they corrupt their maps or uh, more back size and quantity, right? I, I have no issues with that. But I have an issue when, if I want to, like at at that point, like they. They are, and there the risk actually exists, at least in like the higher tier maps, right? And you cannot change the map when you corrupt it, kind of done unless you do the like trade trade ups. But like the map, like that risks the map actually like breaking completely, right? While with sextant, you don't really have that kind of risk. Sextant, in general, in general, are just you spend more currency into making your map just straight up better. It doesn't actually have a proper risk, like 99% of the time. Of course, if you're doing minimax with fucking chain without chain pantheon and multiple damage rolls on the map, and then you add, you take increased damage of that element, like element, right? Then you take more damage, right? Yeah, sure. However, it's not... The map didn't become hard because you added the sextant. The map was hard because of the mods on the map already, right? So. I think there needs to be a higher scale dungeon red maps. Great. But the thing is, a lot of people don't even ro like run red maps for MF, like uh, with sextant. Because the reward on doing the higher maps isn't high enough for the risk. And uh, the placement on the Atlas currently for sextant isn't that good for all of them. Like, there's actually people who run like non shaped vault. You can make Vault as a T9 to be your only T9 that drops. You don't have to. You don't have to make it into a T14 to be able to only roll that run that map. You can you can run it. Uh, you can only run T9 Vaults as your only T9 map. It's actually easier to sustain too. As a T9. Yeah, basically the sextants like quadruple amount of the monsters, while giving, uh, while having like one third of the danger of like uh, actual monsters on the map. I mean, of course, if you can, you run. The, if you can't sustain the higher tier maps with a good build, you still run them, right? But you don't have to. 
course you want to in if you if you do if you can assuming you want to like farm some like higher tier bases and shit like that But as it is now, sextants, the reward versus risk on sextants is not balanced. At all. If the you take increased damage of an element would be 40% instead of 10. Maybe we will see people uh, care about <laughs> mass spamming sextant, like multiple sextants, especially in hardcore. No. But at that point, it comes to just like kill the mob before it hit you. I mean, it already is kind of like that. It's a, it's a tough, tough thing. Do you want to reward people from spending time on mastering the system, uh, having knowledge, having a good build that can do things, especially with uh, increased like MF, like quantity and all that? I think you should, like increase, like uh, not increase, but uh, reward knowledge and proper one? use of mechanics. And two stuff in the game, no but I think textants are a bit too far off. Like the, the issue is the, like I've said, like it's supposed to be like one in fifteen, probably like ten times in the last thirty minutes is the how it limits you do you from doing something mm. else, right? You can create multi like okay, let's if you play yeah, a certain build back. that doesn't limit you or from playing a different build, there. but if I'll you I'll want to run to, certain uh, maps with textants, it it. Limits you from running other maps. I think that's the biggest I issue I have with it. Was probably like 40, 45 ish ones. I think that would be a good yeah, start. You unlucky. That you didn't need to uh, lock yourself into doing one thing. And like the new Elder Shaper mechanics. Uh, again, yeah, you can you can argue that hey, it's uh, it's your it's your your call. You decide what you do, right? An opportunity cost. Do you want to farm uh, lots of months and XP? Let's go uh, full sexton then, and you do the permanent el like Elder Shaper in your like map that you farm. Do you want to farm for uh, the Elder Uniques and all that? Well, then you start chasing Elder. You can't do both at the same time, right? But why? Why does? Uh, why does it have to be like? This? Why can't I have the maps that I want to farm for XP and items and whatnot, and still be able to? Uh, That's good. Do the other things. The problem is how much better it is. I don't think that's even the problem. I think the problem is the limitations. Like something is always going to be better, right? And you could actually argue that farming bosses is better in hardcore, especially if you get to do it early, and if you can uh, carry other people through it. It's arguably better than uh, running a. Uh, Text on the maps. Of course, it's part of the problem. Like, of course, like there's there's so many things that stack up, like pile up into a problem. There, I don't think there's like one thing that breaks everything. It's a combination of them. But for me, the biggest issue is the, uh, the limitations. Oh yeah, Shaper and Elder, the, the whole system has issues too now. 
I don't think we should... First of all, I don't think we should be able to have a permanent Elder or Shaper influence. Now if somebody can argue that it's a, it, it's a reward for people who know what they're doing, sure. But that system also has limits. While you, ha you while you can have the, you can do the permanent uh, circle right where you can have like up to 29 maps permanently runnable under elders influence oh excuse me 27 because you can't run the elder map or kill I'm uh, sorry no 28 because you can run the elder map but you can't run the guardian map and you can't run the the one extra the filler map that you use to uh, like uh, get the 30 maps total into elder like influence and then another issue I have with the whole system is that once elder pops into your atlas you have to kill him in order to get him like out of the uh, the atlas I think that's that's bad. Especially because you don't get warned about it. You can you can completely fuck your atlas by accidentally uh, if you don't if you don't know about it, you can accidentally spawn elder like the act like uh, when elder occupies your map and uh, the guardian map like guardians occupy the other maps. It can actually completely fuck up your atlas, and I think that happened with uh, some people early on uh, in the, the current league, where it accidentally popped into a red map, for example. So I think there should be a way to either force removal of elder from your atlas, or. Desync. Or uh, after a certain amount of time, if you don't kill the elder and his guardians, let's say, if you don't kill one of the guardians in ten maps after he pops into your atlas, they just leave. So then you could do like a total of fifty maps under the uh, influence before they like leave if you like time it well. But that way you wouldn't, like if you wanted him to leave, you would just run 10 random maps, right? And then he would like remove your, like get rid of your atlas. And then you just can do it again. And I think that it sh you should have more, especially if the system will stay as it is now, I think you we should have more power to decide where Elder actually pops into your atlas, right? First time an Elder comes to your atlas is when you, when you, Complete a or unlock a uh, D6 map when it's under uh, Shaper's influence, right? The very, very first time. So Elder comes there, and then you can spread it from there. So you can choose the first time Elder comes to your Atlas. But after you kill Elder, and then you start running maps, what you, you can only. Uh, Influence the tier that Elder will spawn. You cannot influence where he spawns in the Atlas. Which is bad, especially with the system of text and blocking and sex and all that right now. Because he can randomly pop into like let's say you have your sextant block in the top left corner for for a vault for example. Channel. And you're you're complete like running maps at the the other side of the atlas when you don't have elder in your uh, atlas and then he pops into the corner that you have sex and block. Now you are in a very awkward situation where if you want to run it, you have to run a lot of maps and hope that the spread, like the elder spreads, gets out of the maps that there are sex and block, which is very unlikely. Elder doesn't just randomly start moving around the atlas. You usually have to your work uh, in order to move him. Uh, 
and like there's there's like very very simple solution to remove like the perma elder like circle for example make like the reason why it works is elder has to be connected to his guardians within the influence right you know how to fix it make the the connection uh, not mandatory so you can have you can have elder in the other side of the like you can have elder completely like disconnected between like from his guardians then that way the the permanent elder influence doesn't work anymore what about the vendors if uh, clear your entire atlas to no permanent decisions you make in the game Oh, you're talking about clearing the whole atlas as in removing every single map? Like the unlock of the map? Or are you talking about just removing the elder from your map? Do you think they did that on purpose to destroy people from extant blocking? I, I, I don't know. Honestly, it might be an oversight, but... You can't stop people from sex and blocking. Of course you can. Are, are, wait, are you talking about like you can't as in people will go ape shit or as in you physically can't do that? I assume it's the, the, the first one. That there should be there would be such a big uh, backlash from doing that. Is that what you're saying? Man, the whole time, the whole time I've been talking about this, I have found one key from Countess. Also, hashtag nice, nice little rant about uh, sextant and systems in the game right now. Playing a party, you don't care about the elder shaper influence for months. I don't understand how this this is relevant to my question or like the your uh, statement that you can't uh, stop people from extant blocking. Also, not everyone plays the game for months. I would say majority of the player base doesn't give a rat's ass about uh, being the most efficient pos as possible. So in that sense, I, I don't think sextants... Like, having sextants is an issue. I just think the fucking limitation on everything else you do makes them really, really bad. How can you stop people from doing the same map over and over? That's an entirely different thing. Where, where do you where do you have the connection line between sextant blocking and doing one map, one map only at all the time? They they aren't mutually exclusive. Like you can you can remove sextant blocking and people could still do that one map. They be, people would still probably do it, but it would remove the huge difference in power and. the the uh, reward in doing that one specific map versus doing more maps, like like all maps, when you don't you're not allowed to do the the huge check stamp block. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just pointing out another reason why sextants as they are right now are bad. I'm not saying it's the only reason. I'm just, I'm just piling, I'm just piling this whole case on top of my sextants or, or shit as they are right now. 
limitations on doing other content. The uh, risk versus rewards versus like actual map mods, for example, or high level content. Brain freeze. Uh, I've, I've probably mentioned it so many times that I don't, I don't even get the words anymore. Just vending. Yeah, this is this is just this is me just vending about the whole shit right now. Text on destroying the game as they are impl in implemented right now. Yes, I agree. I don't think. I don't think they would ruin the game if they were uh, implemented into the game in a different way at all. No, I I don't I don't think so. everything guess that's why I'm having more fun playing POD right now. <laughs> you gonna you could argue that uh Zork is the sextant of POD. If you wanna farm Ubers, if you wanna farm uh D clone, if you wanna farm like efficient boss boss farming, Zork is the only thing to go for. You can make an argument for that and I can't really I can't really fight against it. I mean, because it's it's uh, inarguable. That was perfectly timed. Uh, teleport and uh, exit the game. Put the black screen. It happens so rarely. Man, how long have I been ranting about this? You <laughs> know, like an hour or something? Oh, geez, I just realized that I haven't I haven't been playing... Uh... Carl, you wanna finish off that normal rush? 